we're going to start chapter 6 today and chapter 6 talks about quadrilaterals that's what we're going to that's what our main focus is going to be on for chapter 6 so we'll get started into our new vocabulary um, which is a diagonal and it is in a polygon a segment that connects the non-consecutive vertices and um, that non-consecutive kind of means just two that aren't back to back so notice in the diagram um, I have a polygon M N O P and notice that N and P are the non consecutive vertices so a segment that connects the two would also be or would be called the diagonal um, in this section we're going to talk about angles of the polygon so um, our first key concept or theorem that we need to talk about is just a how to find um, those interior angles so the polygon interior angle sum we are actually finding the total of all angles added together and just as a reminder if I go way too fast you can always pause and start it again to get down everything that you need um, we are going to use this equation n minus 2 times 180 um, and that is used to find the interior angles that I have put right over here um, so the sum of the interior angles measures of an n-sided convex polygon is the number of sides minus 2 and then I'm going to multiply by 180 so notice in this diagram over here um, this polygon has five sides so n is going to be five so that is how where they have placed five right there so they would say five minus two times 180 and one thing that we need to remember is our order of operation so we have to do our parentheses first so it's really three times 180 degrees all right we are going to get into our first example using the polygon interior angle sum um, we need to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex nonagon so the big thing is we are trying to find the interior angle so we are going to know we need to use the number of sides minus two and then we're going to multiply it by 180 degrees before we start we need to figure out how many sides a nonagon will have well a nonagon has nine sides and if you need to recall the chart we use in a previous chapter you might want to do so so using that equation we are going to say n minus 2 the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees well we know that our n is 9 so we're going to replace n with 9 so 9 minus 2 times 180 which really says 7 times 180 remember do those parentheses first so I get a um, 1260 and remember that number is actually telling us the total interior angle measure So all of the interior angles added together will be um, 1,260 degrees. The next type of example you might run into is you are asked to find the measures of each interior angle of a parallelogram to the side. Remember that each means individually. It does not mean as a whole. So let's see the steps we need to take um, to do so. The first one is we need to find the value of x. And we know that x is found in the interior angles of the parallelogram. And to find the total, remember we can use our equation that we learned above. n minus 2 times 180 will give us the total measures. And we need to do that first before we can start finding individual ones. So we know there's four sides. So we know that n equals four. So we'll say four minus two times 180 degrees. 
And you're going to say, well, do we have to show all that work or can we just put it in our calculator? Yes, you must show all of that work. Um, so we know the total equals 360 degrees. Now we need to write an equation to express that sum. Remember, the sum is that 360 degrees. Um, so we can say the measure of angle S plus the measure of angle T plus the measure of angle U plus the measure of angle R equals 360 degrees. That's what we just found. Then we can substitute 11x plus 4 plus 5x plus 11x plus 4 plus 5x, again, making sure you show all of your work, equals 360 degrees. One big thing that I have still seen, and hopefully um, we can kind of kick it in the booty, is when we have like terms on one side and we are trying to combine those like terms, You cannot change, you cannot change the sign. So we have to say 11x plus 5x plus 11x plus 5x, which gives us 32x's. The only time you change its side, remember, is if you go across the equal sign. And we are not doing that just yet. And then we need to combine our other terms. So the 4 plus 4 equals plus 8. And we know that that is going to equal 360 degrees. And then you're going to solve just like normal. You're going to subtract that 8 from both sides. That's when we switch its sign. So we get 32x equals... 352. Remember to divide by 32 on both sides. So our x equals 11. Now, yes, we need to find x, but no, we are not done because if you remember back in our question, we need to find each measure. So that means we need to find the exact measure of all of our angles. So we need to use the value of x to solve for each angle. We need to find the measure of s the measure of T, the measure of U, and finally the measure of angle R. And you can go back and look to see what are their values given. And then we can plug it in. So we'll say 11 times X plus 4, which gives us 125 degrees. Um, angle T is 5 times the value of X, which is 11, so we get 55 degrees here. Angle U is 11 times X plus 4, gives us 125 degrees. And last, R is 5 times X, which would also give us 55 degrees. One way you can check your work is we know that all three of these have to add up to equal our interior angle sum. Which remember we found by checking um, N minus 2 times 180, and we did so. All right, if you will stop this video, and make sure you show all of your work, and do the two checker progresses on the next page, and I will show you the answers, and we'll keep going. All right, there are your answers. If you did get something wrong, why don't you stop the video, rewind, and go back and check. All right, the next example. Um, we need to find the interior angle measure of regular polygons. So um, a mall is designed so that five walkways meet at a food court that is in the shape of a regular pentagon. We need to find the measure of one of those interior angles of the pentagon. So one thing we need to get from that is a pentagon we know has five sides. And just to recall, remember regular means that all sides and all angles are congruent. So 
I've created our little food court over here. So use the polygon interior angle sum theorem to find the total sum of the interior angles measure. So remember that's n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And we remember that our n equals 5, what we found, because it's a pentagon. So we're going to say 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees, which would give us, 3 times 180. So the total interior angle sum equals 540 degrees. That is our total interior angles. So all five of these, 2, 3, 4, 5, they would all equal that 540. But we want to just find one of them. So maybe we want to find that angle by the Panda Express. So how do we do so? Well, here's our equation that we need to use every time. We need to first put the total sum of the interior angles on top. And remember, that is what we just found using that n minus 2 times 180. So I'm going to put 540 there. And because they are all regular, meaning they are all the same number, the same exact degree, we're going to divide that by the number of congruent interior angles, which is the same um, as the number of sides. And remember, we have a pentagon, so it's 5, so we just substituted. So if we do 540 divided by 5, we would get 108 degrees. And that is going to tell us one interior angle of our regular pentagon. So at the Panda Express, that angle that Panda Express, whoops, that Panda Express has is 108 degrees. All right, before you go on to your checkpoint, I would like you to, at the very top of that box, what is your favorite food court restaurant? So write it right on the top of your checkpoint or your check your progress box. Um, this is going to make sure that you are listening to the video. Um, after you do so, go ahead and do your check your progress number two, um, and then we will move on from there. Right, we're going to stop this video and continue it with the second one just so we have enough time. Part two is coming up next.